Luxon Blues. To kill or not to kill these blues. Should we forget she ever happened or rewrite her tale? Are we living or merely surviving on this maimed piece of land that remains when the rest is snatched, sold, bought, and awarded? Are we rebuilding ourselves in this piece of land where church and bare halls compete for attention and little else in between of the hearts of our growing beats. On the straining camp for old General Pistol and the kids here, they'll draw you real stories about the Bantu education you thought died in 76. In this place created to implode 21st century labor reservoir created out of lies so that people can dream in lines but they explode these people they explode into acclaimed character of possibility and grace no man can journey so what would you do what would you do to kill or not to kill this place that continues to be looked down upon this place that means people are less poor stranded backwards and suspicious what would you do? What would you do if you tried to touch invisible promises you were told live in your neighborhood? And have you heard them say, wow, you know, some people live so happy in their poverty. To leave or not to leave this piece of land that has since become my heritage, Ekasi, Glangea Kona, my haven, my only going home space, my only going back space, sitting on the stoop and gazing at time and so many distant possibilities. Konala Eazania, where we are reaching. What would you do? Would you be distant or not? What would you do? Would you be distant or not between the five minutes that separate Alexander and Santin? What would you do? Would you be distant or not? From this place whose story boils at my loin, never to stop moving and reminding of legacies I'm now told don't exist. This place whose memories prove just how little has changed. Maybe you would be distant. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Maybe you will kill these blues. Maybe you would kill these blues if you had choices beyond exoticized, dusty streets. But many of us, many, many of us are here still. And this poem was dedicated to the people of Tembisa and Soweto and Langa and Chatsworth and Kwamashu and 
and Langa and Philippi and Mitchell's Plain and the Cape Flats and it goes on and on and on. The list is an end. Thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Concord Ngabinde, Ernie Smith and Eric Paliani.